use it for a small fee. And we got the results of it. So, so this is how, you know, we're a very green society up here. We just, you know, recycle things and keep using it. So that's what we're doing. All right, so let me ask you a question here. If you're on Highway 17 at Glenwood and you call 911, where are the fire engines coming from? Up here, right? Okay. All right, so if we had a Glenwood curve, uh, accident, the page would go out, we would get toned out as the volunteer fire team along with Burl up at Cal Fire Station. We would go out together. Scotts Valley would start up the hill and they would come up. So we'd have both those engines going. How long do you think it would take us to get there from the time 911 was called? That's on traffic. Ten minutes. Good point. How about plug up this that highway? Okay. <laughs> but it could be 10, 15 minutes, possibly. I mean, it, it's, it's potentially in that range. Um, if we were there at the station, we have to be having a meeting, which we had before, then that happens quicker. Okay? So, you're sitting there in your car, you call 911, you're waiting for help. All right, now. You know she crashed the car. What do you think might be wrong with her? Spinal. <laughs> Whip class. Could have a neck problem. Okay. Your hearing might be painful now. But... Used to it. All right, so there's a typical rescue that pulls up. How many engines and equipment do you think roll out on one car? Three, okay. So this is our rescue. We have an engine to go out as well, in case there was a vehicle fire. Often we have an engine She's still reading the book. <laughs> so that we don't get rear-ended by somebody else. Now there's one other one that you might have left out. What do you think that might be for? We saw it fly over earlier. If we had to call for an air ambulance, we need another engine to land the helicopter. Okay, so potentially... Don't, sh <laughs> Don't shake car. it. Alright, so they get there, they park. The guy in the red hat, who's the guy in the red hat? Captain. He's probably the captain, okay. And he's going to walk around, check out what's the problem. See how many people are hurt and tell his crew what to do, all right? Tell me what he's doing. Chalking it so the car doesn't flush. Roll away. Bad thing to be working on a patient and have the car roll away. This is why Mike comes back year after year. He loves breaking windows. <laughs> Who doesn't? Why is he opening that window? We're, gonna, uh, we're pretending that the doors are going to be completely jammed, okay? So he's making an opening for a patient person to go in. We want to get somebody in on that patient as soon as we can. So we're going to get somebody in there, and that person's going to go in. Yeah, what? Question? Do you think you could be that person that crawled in there? probably good after a while. All right. All right, what's he carrying? Come on, you guys, what's he carrying? Jaws of life, right. What are they going to do? Pry open the door, okay, good. Well, they're putting it all out here. What's this right here? Sawzall. You probably have one of those in your garage. What about this? Generator, very good. Of course. Hoses. Does that machine right there, the jaws of life, does it work off electricity, gasoline, hydraulic? What do you think? Hydraulic. Gas engine and a hydraulic. Okay, now Kevin just got inside the car to say, hey, hi, my name's Kevin, what's yours? Okay. <laughs> Finding out what's the matter with the patient, right? And we've already mentioned that there could be a neck injury, right? 
So we have to be Tired. real careful about the spine. What else might have happened to her? They hit that concrete divider. Ah, what's he doing that for? Pinch point. making a hole so we can get ready for something else, okay? All right, tell me about the patient inside. When she hit the wall, what might have happened to her? Bang her head? Hurt her neck? How about her ribs and her chest? Do you think if she was wearing a seatbelt, she might hit the steering wheel or she might not? If she wasn't wearing a seatbelt, she could be hitting her head on the windshield. When you guys are in the car, are you wearing your seatbelt? Yeah. Oh, of course. Of course. Good. Good. The car is full of people. If the car is full of people, the first time the captain stepped out and walked around and went, Whoa, there's 16 people in here. We would call five more injuries. We'd call for four Say more and another helicopter. I mean, we ramped it up. We work our way from the back forward. We need an air ambulance, he said. Oh, okay. So he's calling Felton and saying, Felton, this is Highway 17 IC. We're at scene of a single vehicle accident, one patient, extrication in progress. We need an air ambulance landed at the Post summit the LG, which is right there on Highway 17. Actually, it's right there at the restaurant. Oh, there's the restaurant. Where's the market tinting? There you go. Plus! Yeah, he really likes that. <laughs> Favorite right. part. Is he putting something on her face? What is that? Yeah, see, see, that? Covered? What, is he, what, is, what is he breathing in? Oxygen. Right. Right. So have you ever heard this? When we do vehicle extrication, our job is not to remove the patient from the car, it's to remove the car from around the patient. We don't want the patient to move, we want to peel the car off from around it. <laughs> He's just going to pick. Well, All right, why did he do that? Because we don't want the door in our lap, right? That's why we Nice. Hope they take off the A code and B code. They do. All right, do you guys think you can hold that thing shut and not make it open?
they'd have been pulled. So that pin, that big metal pin, yeah. they'd have been. Okay, 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 now we That's have to keep it down with the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Hey! Back. Now I gotta ask you a question. Do you think that's enough? Hell no! Four! Four! Yeah, go for it, man. Okay. Sounds off. Okay, yeah. Roof! Take the roof off! What did he say? He said, take the roof off. Oh, okay. Take the roof off. How many like to have a convertible thing? Uh, they they work from the back front. So C post, B post, A post. How about this for a question? Right. Do you think it's really quiet inside the car? Probably not. Probably a lot of noise. Right. Watch this car. It's really good now. We had a race to channel this break. Oh, uh, yeah, keep flying at us, do it. Yeah. She had me an axe, can't the other guy axe. We're gonna find this. Oh, peel that back. He ripped that off. There you go. Oh, you got eggs. Get to these people 
I was in the IC front when you're 15 minutes into your incident. on YouTube.